So you don't know Surrey, but you're thinking about moving here with your family from either in town or another part of the country. Well, don't make this one mistake. Don't think that all areas of Surrey, neighborhood to neighborhood, are identical. In fact, the city of Surrey includes 316.4 square kilometers, everything from downtown core, suburban sprawl, all the way into agricultural land and even unusable floodplain. In this video, I'm gonna recommend three Three areas that you should consider when moving your family to the city of Surrey. Yes, that's right. These three picks of mine are specifically family focused. So if you have kids and you can't afford Vancouver, you're going to want to make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That way you can do your part in help getting this information out to other amazing YouTubers just like you. And then those amazing YouTubers that are just like you and eager for this information might move in right next door to you. And you will be able to say that hitting that like button on this very video is the reason you have such amazing neighbors. Okay, so let's start this list uh, that I recommend. Of, I mean, again, I'm going to stress, this is families. This is, if you're moving to Surrey with a family, these are the three areas that I recommend. Now, let me be clear. I'm, I'm not going to rank these in any order where you should or, or shouldn't buy. I don't want anyone out there to say, Ha ha, our, our neighborhood's way better than that. Or, Hey, why didn't you include my area? There are a lot of good areas to live in Surrey, but these are the ones that are specifically family-focused. With that family focus in mind, I have considered some criteria that include include schools, parks, social activities, diversity of demographics, the like button, style of homes, inventory of homes, and yes, maybe most importantly of all, affordability. That's right, areas like Crescent Beach, uh, Fraser Heights might actually be nicer neighborhoods to live in, but this video is specifically geared towards families, and obviously families are usually on a budget. When you're on a budget, you have to consider many things, not just how nice the area is, but also what you can afford with hopefully avoiding foreclosure in the future. So with all these disclaimers out of the way, let's get started in no particular order, I'm not going to rank these, uh, with the family friendly area of Clayton Heights. Clayton Heights is a sub area of Cloverdale and in reality it's where most young families actually end up purchasing and here are the reasons why. Clayton is an overall new area. What I mean by that is since about the early 2000s, large properties and acreages and even uh, farms have been subdivided into everything from condos to single family homes. And there is a very large inventory of townhomes. And let's face it, with today's prices, most young families are looking at townhomes in order to maximize their livable space and not break the bank. And because Clayton is one of the newer areas in Surrey, uh, by newer I mean the construction of these homes is usually less than 20 years old, uh, the city has planned for density. Some families are attracted to the area because they have a lot of nice new properties to pick from. This could be two bedroom condos, 1,400 to 2,000 square foot townhomes, or even single family homes homes that are often on very small lots, as small as maybe 2,500 square feet. Uh, but most regularly, you'll see 3,500 to 4,000 square foot lots. And the most common builds are two stories with basement in the detached home style. So what that means is you'll often end up with mortgage helpers by way of unauthorized suite in the basement. Clayton as a whole is probably the most family friendly area in the whole city of Surrey, with the city putting in a ton of money into growing schools and parks to the fact that it borders right on to Langley and the amenities of Willowbrook Mall and the surrounding commercial areas. If you're looking for a good family area, you will want to highly consider Clayton Heights. But in an effort to be balanced, here are some of the downsides. Because so many families are moving in, Clayton Heights has school crowding issues. But I mean, really, school crowding, unfortunately, is that way across much of the city of Surrey because it is such a fast growing city due to the affordability compared to Vancouver. The small lot homes don't allow for a ton of street parking and the density actually included with all of the basement suites can put parking in Clayton Heights as a negative. And Clayton probably has the highest amount of property crime out of the three areas that I'm going to discuss here today. It's not a bad area by any means, but I would suggest things like car break-ins are more common in Clayton for a few reasons. The first would be that some parts of Clayton have what we call coach homes. This is a rental apartment, not in the basement suite, but above the detached garage. 
Often some landlords are not great at screening their tenants and a small affordable 400 square foot apartment is the prime spot for less desirables. And because of the 30 foot lots, 30 foot lots comes with rear lanes for parking, darker and more lanes with not a lot of people in them could possibly lead to more property crime. Well, let's say Clayton Heights isn't necessarily your cup of tea and you're wanting to move to South Surrey. Yes, North Surrey gets the bad rap. South Surrey is where most of the people that don't live in Surrey say they want to move when they're moving to Surrey because they call it White Rock, but it's not White Rock. So let me recommend to you somewhere that is in South Surrey and that neighborhood is Grandview. Grandview is the up and coming part of South Surrey that is still being established around mostly new or newer commercial spaces and big box stores. The city, well, up until our most recent mayor, the city was heavily invested in this area. They were building schools, pools, absolutely everything you would ever want to raise a family within the community. It might also be the best spot in Surrey to commute from if you do still need to go into Vancouver. As long as you are driving, this area like most of Surrey is heavily car dependent, but everything is there once you are home. Walk to absolutely everything, restaurants, grocery stores, coffee shops, Home Depot, the like button, Walmart, more restaurants, and even gyms if they're ever allowed to be open again. All of this is available in South Surrey and at a much more more affordable price than most areas that are established within South Surrey. And just like Clayton, if you need a condo, townhouse, or single family, there's lots to pick from. And maybe the best part about Grandview is the fact that the building is not stopping. There's lots of projects going on and more stock of homes coming on almost every day. Okay, so what's the bad parts? Well, construction isn't stopping. So with that comes traffic. Grandview is a great area once you're in, but often traffic to get in or out for that matter is not that fun. And the fact that so much construction and growth is going on, if you choose to buy in Grandview, you will likely be living around construction for many years to come. And although it's more affordable than say Ocean Park or White Rock, it is still South Surrey and your budget must be higher than if you were considering equivalent properties within say Clayton Heights. Okay, so that was an East option. And then we had a South option. Uh, what about one a little bit more central? Neighborhood number three of my family-friendly areas to move to within Surrey is Cloverdale proper. Yes, it's confusing. Uh, the Cloverdale has sub areas, one of which is Clayton Heights. The other one is Cloverdale. And I must say, I am totally biased because this is actually where I live. I'm actually there right now. And by there, I mean here. Cloverdale is a historic section of Surrey. that is actually the site of the first ever Surrey City Hall. You probably have seen more of Cloverdale than you think because the historic downtown is the site of a movie shoot or TV shoot almost every other day. Things like Smallville, Jingle All the Way, and almost every Hallmark movie you've ever seen have been shot in downtown Cloverdale. The area dates back to being populated in the 1800s, but over the years, it has been built up at many different times. So in Cloverdale, you have a great selection of condos and townhouses, but you also have large variety of single family homes, everything built on very small lots all the way up to massive estates. And as I said, it's been built up over time. So you'll find properties representing almost every single decade since about the 1940s. The beautiful part about Cloverdale is that it might be the best place and most affordable place to get a detached home with a decent sized yard for the kids to play. And by decent sized yard, you should expect 6,000 to 7,000 square feet to be pretty easy to come by. Because after all, you're watching this video for three reasons. One, you're considering moving to Surrey. Two, you have a family, so you probably need a yard. And three, you're looking to hit the like button. Cloverdale still has areas that feel like ones that I grew up in and look back upon fondly, but it also has amazing schools, parks, specifically sports parks in Cloverdale Athletic Park, trails, and the fairgrounds that host the rodeo every single year since 1945. Well, every single year except for last year and this year for obvious reasons. In fact, the Cloverdale Rodeo has become a massive event and the largest rodeo this side of the Stampede. And to top it all off, Cloverdale is probably the best spot to give you options for commuting. 176 will take you to Highway 1 and into town and really easy access down Highway 10 into Richmond. So what are the downsides? Well, unfortunately, downtown Cloverdale has slightly been neglected by the city and from the fairgrounds all the way down to Highway 10 is not the most desirable area to live. So you'll probably want to go up the hill into other subdivisions, say Eaglecrest or head west into West Cloverdale where I am.
Actually, that could be a downside. Also, Cloverdale doesn't have a lot to offer if you are looking for retail and restaurants. There are a few scattered gems in the area, but it, again, is heavily car dependent if you're going shopping. The good news on that front is that it's about equal distance to Willowbrook Mall, Guilford Mall, and Morgan Crossing. So you have options that open up if you own a car. So there you have it. If you're considering moving to Surrey and you're considering either having a family or already have a family, consider Clayton Heights, Grandview, and Cloverdale as your three best options without breaking the bank. Again, this is going to be a happy medium. There may be nicer areas. There may be more affordable areas, but these are the three I think you should consider if you're looking for that family-friendly lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this type of information and don't want to miss a beat, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell and the like button. It means a ton to us. It really helps us get this information out to other people through the YouTube algorithm. Bonk.